Hi everyone, keeping you up to date on the snow trends here. This system moving a little bit faster and the atmosphere a little bit colder than the models are depicting. So got to find a model that works right now. Let me show you what I'm talking about as I'm mapping out this as we move forward here. The GFS model, believe it or not, is picking up on some of this colder air. It's the most recent one. Also, I'm going to kind of advance this out here. There's snow over Alabama as I'm recording this that the models, at least the high resolution models, aren't even picking up on yet. And the whole northern half of Mississippi is covered in snow where this model right here has it as a mix. So simply put, the models are not realizing the depth of cold air that's in place, nor the speed of this. So I think as this model moves forward, it's got snow knocking on the door. Now it's 7 a.m. in areas like Clemson. And then you move into 10 a.m., that snow's widespread across the area. This is brand new data here. This shows snow as far south as Columbia, as far north as Charlotte, Asheville, Atlanta. Now, as we go throughout the day, here's 1 p.m. Notice that ice line's trying to make it into Atlanta, Columbia, Augusta. Then it moves toward the north. The I-85 corridor now is a battle zone. What was snow is now a battle zone of sleet and freezing rain mixed with snow. And then as we go into the overnight hours, sleet. Sleet's taking over in many of these areas here with freezing rain knocking on the door in the southern part of the upstate. Ice, unfortunately, may be our finale with this system at about 9, 10, 11 o'clock on Friday. By 11 o'clock to midnight, this thing's over with, and we've got that last glaze of ice that's on top of everything. This GFS model wants to go boom with the snow totals. It shows one to three inches south of 85 because there's going to be some ice in this area. But you go north of 85, I'm going to zoom in here uh, so you can see it. Wanted to start wide first, but here we go into South Carolina. It's got four and a half to five inches of snow uh, in Greer, Spartanburg, Asheville, or Asheville, yes, uh, Greenville, up through most of Pickens County, most of Oconee County. So this would be an overperformer, overperforming what some of the high resolution models are showing here. So it's trying to take into effect the snow that's trying to move into Alabama, but it also shows ice. Got quite a bit of that ice into South Carolina, into parts of Georgia, into these areas. Let me zoom into South Carolina as we do that right now into North Carolina, South Carolina. This also has that snow three to five inches inches, but also a quarter of an inch to three tenths of an inch of ice on top of that. So simply put, uh, this thing's moving a little bit faster. The model's having a hard time realizing how cold the air actually is outside right now. And at some point, you honestly have to kind of ditch the models and just do what we call now casting, which is looking at the radar and analyzing what's happening with the radar right now and take out the models altogether. We're not quite there yet, but we still have some guidance that we can get out of each one of them. And believe it or not, that GFS model Model seems to be handling the atmosphere a little bit better than some of those high resolution models that have the snow still back toward Arkansas and are not realizing that it's been snowing in, in Mississippi now and uh, about half of Mississippi for about three hours. So we will keep you posted on this. Simply put, there's a lot to iron out in the days to come or in the day to come, and I will keep you posted along the way. Stay tuned.